Grape syrup is a condiment made with concentrated grape juice. It is thick and sweet because of its high ratio of sugar to water. Grape syrup is made by boiling grapes, removing their skins, squeezing them through a sieve to extract the juice, and adding sugar. Like other fruit syrups, a common use of grape syrup is as a topping to sweet cakes, such as pancakes or waffles. Names and etymology The ancient Greek name for grape syrup is epsima, which translates to boiled. The Greek name was used in Crete and, in modern times, in Cyprus. Petamizi is the name for a type of Mediterranean grape syrup. The word comes from the Turkish pekmez, which usually refers to grape syrup, but is also used to refer to mulberry and other fruit syrups. History Greco-Roman One of the earliest mentions of grape syrup comes from the 5th century BC Greek physician Hippocrates, who refers to epsima, the Greek name for the condiment. The 5th century BC Athenian playwright Aristophanes also makes a reference to it, as does ancient Roman physician Galen. Grape syrup was known by different names in ancient Roman cuisine depending on the boiling procedure. Defrutum, carinum, and sapa were reductions of must. They were made by boiling down grape juice or must in large kettles until it had been reduced to two thirds of the original volume, carinum, half the original volume, defrutum, or one third, sapa. Roman general Pliny the Elder states that grape syrup was also referred to as cerion Greek, cerion. The main culinary use of defrutum was to help preserve and sweeten wine, but it was also added to fruit and meat dishes as a sweetening and souring agent and even given to food animals such as ducks and suckling pigs to improve the taste of their flesh. Defrutum was mixed with garum to make the popular condiment enagarum. Quince and melon were preserved in defrutum and honey through the winter, and some Roman women used defrutum or sapa as a cosmetic. Defrutum was often used as a food preservative in provisions for Roman troops. Defrutum is mentioned in almost all Roman books dealing with cooking or household management. Pliny the Elder recommended that defrutum only be boiled at the time of the new moon, while Cato the censor suggested that only the sweetest possible defrutum should be used. In ancient Rome, grape syrup was sometimes boiled in lead pots, which sweetened the syrup through the leaching of the sweet-tasting chemical compound lead acetate into the syrup. Incidentally, this is thought to have caused lead poisoning for Romans consuming the syrup. A 2009 History Channel documentary produced a batch of historically accurate defrutum in lead-lined vessels and tested the liquid, finding a lead level of 29,000 parts per billion (ppb), which is 2,900 times higher than contemporary American drinking water limit of 10 ppb. These levels are easily high enough to cause either acute lead toxicity if consumed in large amounts or chronic lead poisoning when consumed in smaller quantities over a longer period of time as defrutum was typically used. However, the use of leaden cookware, though popular, was not the general standard of use. Copper cookware was used far more generally and no indication exists as to how often sapa was added or in what quantity. There is not, however, scholarly agreement on the circumstances and quantity of lead in these ancient Roman condiments. For instance, the original research was done by Jerome Nriagu, but was criticized by John Scarborough, a pharmacologist and classicist, who characterized Enriagu's research as so full of false evidence, miscitations, typographical errors, and a blatant flippancy regarding primary sources that the reader cannot trust the basic arguments. Topic Modern Topic <inaudible> Cyprus The ancient Greek name Epsima, Cypriot Greek, Epsima is still used to refer to the condiment, which is still made in Cyprus. Topic <inaudible> Greece Pedimizi Greek, pedimezi Greek pronunciation, pedimezi, also called epsima, epsima and in English, grape must, or grape molasses, is a syrup that is reduced until it becomes dark and syrupy. Pedimizi keeps indefinitely. Its flavor is sweet with slightly bitter undertones. The syrup may be light or dark colored, depending on the grapes used. 
Before the wide availability of inexpensive cane sugar, petimizi was a common sweetener in Greek cooking, along with carob syrup and honey. Petimze is still used today in desserts and as a sweet topping for some foods. Though petimizi can be homemade, it is also sold commercially under different brand names. From late August until the beginning of December, many Greek bakeries sell dark crunchy and fragrant petimizi cookies, maustakoulura Greek, maustakoulura are made. Petimzopita Greek, petimzopita is a spiced cake with petimizi. Topic. Iran In Iranian cuisine, grape syrup in Persian, shire angwar is used to sweeten arda tahini, which is consumed at breakfast. An alternative is date syrup, which is also widely used in Middle Eastern cooking. Italy Sapa, vincato or vino cotto is commonly used in Italy, especially in the regions of Emilia-Romagna, Marche, Calabria, and Sardinia, where it is considered a traditional flavor. Spain Arope is a form of grape concentrate typically produced in Spain. Often derived from grape varieties such as Pedro Jimenez, it is made by boiling unfermented grape juice until the volume is reduced by at least 50%, and its viscosity reduced to a syrup. The final product is a thick liquid with cooked caramel flavors, and its use is frequent as an additive for dark, sweet wines such as sweet styles of sherry, Malaga, and Marsala. Turkey. In Turkey, grape syrup is known as petimizi or pekmez. Topic. See also. Churchella, a sausage-shaped candy made from grape must and nuts. Drakshasava, an Ayurvedic tonic made from grapes. List of grape dishes. Mustelavria. Must. Pekmez, a similar product in the Ottoman world Vino koto List of fruit dishes <laughs>